This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. After the election, uh, there were a number of people that were upset with the way that the election turned out. There were a number of people that were happy with the way that it turned out. Interestingly enough, there were people, and in a group this size, you understand that there are people that are on both sides of, of the issue. And that's great, and that's fine. By the way, um, I don't agree with people who say you you can't be a Christian and vote uh, a different of a different ilk. Uh, I know a lot of Christians who are Democrats. I know a lot of Democrats who are not Christians. I know a lot of Republicans who are not Christians. I know a lot of Christians who are re Republicans. I happen to know that most of us are neither Democrat nor Republican. And there are a lot of neither Democrats or Republicans that are not Christians. What I'm saying is, deal with it. Uh, and uh, when I was talking to the Lord uh, the next morning about it, uh, because that, you know already the emails had started and you know so and so, and I was talking to the Lord and and the Lord said, um, Dan, I, I don't know if you knew this or not, but. I'm not worried. <laughs> I said, you're not worried, God? No, I'm not worried. I said, I have my people in place, at the right place, at the right point in history, at the right time. And that includes you. If you do what you're supposed to do, you let me do what I'm supposed to do. And there's the message for us. As God's people, we're to be focused on what we're supposed to do. I think that God is in control, and I think God is still at work in our nation, and I think we're going to see some things happen. Some of them will be good, some of them will not be good. But here's the exciting thing. God is in control. And I trust Him for that. And I am looking forward to better days, because as God's people, we need to be focused on what it is He wants to accomplish in and through our lives.